what is up everybody uh, today we're going to be diving into a very interesting topic and it's part of a mini series i have on my channel ask a german um it's it's literally from it's not original at all i i was browsing reddit and there's a reddit thread literally titled ask a german so we pretty much go through the threads and go through deep dives asking ourselves questions of um things that are pretty interesting so if you guys do have answers to any of these please let me know in the comments down below um we do post videos every single day so if that interests you on these types of topics i'm literally like covering a lot of european content mainly german since i'm teaching myself german um but today an interesting topic we're going to be diving into um has to do with a term i don't think i've ever heard of in my entire life it's called uh germanophobia and um basically uh we'll dive we'll dive into that we'll dive into that but i i, I can only assume it's pretty much the fear of maybe like Germany's past or something because that's the only thing I can really think of that that uh, relates to that right here it says uh, the number one question here is have you encountered uh, Germanophobia abroad or from representatives of other nations from xenophobic jokes about our dark past of Germany to open hatred of you because you are German boom being German online in the late night 90s early 2000s was exhausting and on any kind of meme subreddit today as well boom Oh man, Jesus Christ! Uh, I was a junior in high school, and hi and I was a junior. I was in junior high in high school over here in America during the '90s and thousands, and that's when we were taught about uh, Nazi Germany. Also, I knew a couple of people who were directly or indirectly affected by the Holocaust. My history teacher, her parents were Jewish, and they were held in concentration camps. Also, a student's grandfather was Jewish and held in a concentration camp. Yikes. But it doesn't necessarily answer the question. So boom, right here, it says uh, Black Comfy uh, responds right here and says, not germophobia as such, but a few years ago in the US, I overheard a teenage girl telling her mother she wanted to move to Germany to study and her mother was shocked. She started telling her daughter these horror stories about terrorists and extremism and how unsafe Europe was. I, w I thought it was kind of funny, to be honest. Now, I have an interesting story. You might have heard this before, um, and I was going to make a separate video about this. I might make a separate video about it anyways. So if you guys are hearing it here, you're going to hear it again. Um, but my, my grandmother was actually deathly afraid and probably still is to this day of Germany. Um, she said that if I were to travel to Germany, because I expressed interest in traveling to Germany as a kid, because I'm like, oh, it just seems really cool. And the reason why, it wasn't like a random country that I wanted to go to. My dad would travel there on business all the time. He went to Frankfurt and a few other places in Germany, but he would always come back and he would talk about it the time he had. He had a lot of fun. It was great, you know? Um, so I wanted to go, but my grandmother was like, I don't know, you're going to go out there and, and, you know, some guys are going to knock you out, put you in, you're going to wake up in a hotel room with missing kidneys and a bathtub full of ice. And I'm like, what the heck do you hear yourself? She's like, I wouldn't do it. You're pretty much signing your death certificate if you go to Germany. And I'm like, oh my God, bruh. Like, I can't believe this. Like literally, I, and, and, and she was telling me this. I was like 10 years old when she was telling me this stuff. I'm like, bruh, are you for real? Like, I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but it happens everywhere, right? And it's not even that common in Germany um, at all. Like if anything, it might be kind of like more common in Russia or something. I don't know. All I knew it was just a, it was an ignorant thing to say, I feel like, you know? Cause I think she said that out of a place of fear. Um, oh, just stay where you're comfortable. And I'm like, nah, bro, I wanna, I wanna, how can I do that and explore the world at the same time? The freak? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, very. Uh, it's very common for people to have interesting hot takes like this. Also, a friend of mine, not a friend, not a friend, oh my God, not a friend. A uh, person I knew in high school regularly reaches out to me to tell me that I need to switch up my niche because um, having too many German subscribers is uh, dangerous for for me for my health like for my 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 safety not my physical like you know internal health you know what I mean but like my my safety and well-being um, this person from high school a long time ago uh, still sends me uh, conspiracy theories and things of that nature it's 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 very disturbing and I'll never get it. I am definitely making a video on that though, because that shit is just, it's just weird. Um, anyways, 
Uh, so boom. The irony. In, in the US, mother telling her how unsafe Europe was. The irony. Facts. This is th this right here, this comment, oh, almost ratioed the top one. But th the point is, it makes a lot of sense. A lot of people in America have this fear mentality. It's like, don't go exploring, or we always have bad shit to say about things we fear, you know? And it's a bad habit to get into because it limits and restricts the element of, of, of learning like about things that we don't know um when you you know are when you put like negative labels on shit you know and you deter other people through negative um um connotations and things of that sort so here it says no never from representatives of other nations from idiots from of other nations maybe but that's just the internet boom online absolutely i'm also i'm often called uh, Nazi and whatnot just for being German. It's fairly uncomfortable, but I've learned to shrug it off now because they're just edgy teenagers saying it. Yeah, I feel like teenagers are just like, just rebels. All teenagers are rebels for the most part. Yeah, you know, you have the teenagers that are not rebels, but most teenagers just say things to be edgy and ooh, I'm cool because I can get under people's skin, but it's, once you figure out the game, it's like, it's kind of lame and stuff like that. and. 90% of the time they get a taste of their own medicine in some way shape or form um, It's they, uh, It's crazy. It's cringe, but it's definitely crazy um, Boom someone else says uh, Same here. I get that a lot too And if I say I couldn't even be a Nazi because I'm LGBTQ Nazis are homophobic. They say that my grandparents were Nazis. Those people are so idiotic It's even worse if you're a German who's not a hundred percent green left. Oh my god. That's crazy boom so from normal people, not so much, but definitely from Hollywood, where Germans are either Nazis, later hosen wearing weirdos or Nazis. From every other minority or group, um, every other minority or group is hyper carefully crafted not to insult them. But Germans, fuck those guys, right? Weirdos with later hosen and Nazis and their horrible language and who needs them. That's messed up. Yeah, it's crazy. I, I, I even said this, yo, um, that's another like video I'd topic I could talk about. How do Germans feel about how the US treats Germans in Hollywood? Like it's literally the same thing. Literally. Like if you look look at even recent movies within the last five years, all of the major villains, right, of, of like thriller movies or action movies have to either be Russian or or German. It has to come from a Slavic country or it has to come from a European country. It's it's so crazy to me. And I'm like, bro, like what the heck my God? Like, what are we saying? And I think low key, because you know, a lot of people who watch movies are um, you know, internalize the the shit, even though they should know that they're not real. Um they 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 take it out in their real lives, and so uh, people experience like crazy levels of prejudice and just mistreatment because of stuff that they see in mainstream media. I'm, I always wonder what people from other countries think about that, specifically Germany and Russia, because I got a lot of uh, Russian friends and German friends, and I'm like, bro, like this is messed up how they're doing you guys in these movies and stuff hey even like black people are still get done pretty bogus in movies from time to time but not as often as they used to you know they in movies back in the day it was like every crooked person in a movie every bad guy that would steal something out of people's purses or put people at gunpoint um would be a black person 90 percent of the time so the world viewed back black people as dangerous and da 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 so it's just very interesting how influential uh major uh, streams of media like Hollywood um, is to the world and stuff. So let me know in the comments down below what you think about that. It's very mind blowing and boggling to me. Boom. So I live in the U.S. now, and people have to call. People have called me Nazi. Okay, that makes sense. That, that's obviously the biggest thing. People get called Nazis. Um, boom. Uh, this is just an online thing. Most of the pe people are edgy teenagers. Once again. Um, let's look for a longer response. Let's go here. I'm a German Canadian and growing up in Canada was called a Nazi. When I f told my Israeli girlfriend that I'm German, she said, oh, that's bad. I told her that my great grandfather survived a concentration camp and my family really hated the Nazis. So that helped. Other than that, no one cares. Boom. All right. So 
Another answer long as hell, it says yes, but to be fair, only in England, and that was 15 years ago. Back in school, we had the opportunity to travel to London and stay there for two weeks, joining classes in an English school and having the evenings free to explore. We were warned by the teachers that if we went to any pubs and someone asked us where we were from or if we were German, then we should answer that we were Austrians from Vienna. They only had problems with German students getting ganged up on and getting beaten up in alleys. Whoa. Whoa, two of my classmates ended up hospitalized, but they likely started the fight. Oh, okay. Well, that's crazy. Boom. Uh, Professor Tindrum from uh, T Tindrum from uh, North North Rhine Westphalen is uh, says I never I've never experienced this in real life. Online, it's mostly U.S. Americans who presumably never left their country and are ridiculously ignorant as a consequence. I also had a Reddit encounter with a guy from Israel, though, who seemed to be convinced Germans were some kind of mega demons. Whoa. Okay. Boom. Jokes and stereotypes, yes, of course, but nothing that I found really serious. I have an impression that many people respect modern-day Germany and Germans, but hardly love it as much as other countries like Italy or so. Oh, okay. Boom. To be honest, I feel like the dark past mostly comes from uninformed, edgy people who think they're funny. I wouldn't necessarily call this germophobia. I had a couple of situations in Spain and Portugal where people asked me about my opinion on Angela Merkel and German politics because they're not happy with the dominant role Germany plays in the EU. They also thought many Germans are rich and, and arrogant. It's not Germanophobia per se, but I think negative opinions and stereotypes like these are a lot more relevant to the trans transnational communication. The EU and the world peace nowadays than calling Germans uh, Nazis or depicting them wearing lederhosen. Very, very, very intelligent response. Um, and I can see exactly where this individual uh, is coming from on, on, on that, um, with that statement. It, a lot of people worldwide are, are pretty, um, pretty ignorant online especially oh my god i mean oh, online is literally like the, the 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 foundation for trolls like trolls thrive online you get to hide behind an alias and say all kinds of wild stuff and um honestly it's it's you know it carries on into the real world you have people from various countries you'll you, you have idiots thrive everywhere it's not just one specific country i would like to say it is just america but uh unfortunately the rest of the world has their fair share of idiots as well so boom so it's mainly online is what i'm getting from this we'll read one more response and then we'll move on and kind of conclude the video it says uh it says not as far as i remember right here in this big paragraph Every now and then there's a stupid joke about German stereotypes and history, but I don't care about them as that much as I don't find them particularly offensive. And most of the time it's edgy teenagers anyway. So literally most of the jokes come from edgy teenagers. Um, the only annoying thing I come across were some truly ignorant claims and ideas about Germany. The type the American right and Fox News like to spread about how we live in some dystopian communist dictatorship and how Muslim gangs are taking over our cities, no-go zones, etc. Or when they make up shit about our welfare state, our police, and our society to make theirs look better. But that's less Germanophobia and more internal propaganda campaign to make the world outside the US look like shit so certain segments of their society can feel better about themselves but that type of behavior isn't quite isn't unique to americans and i don't want to rant too much about these types of people amen what a wonderful way to end off the video um as a matter of fact i'm going to switch scenes right here so we can talk about that last statement specifically so um with that specific statement right the U.S. can't, the one thing that the U.S. as a country cannot stand is when it realizes other countries have better assets than it does, right? Like, boom, right? America, let's say we, we have a shitty healthcare system. We have a very garbage healthcare system. But when we see that other countries have better healthcare system, so what does the media do? It creates this false narrative of other countries' welfare systems that are way better than ours. Like, oh, Germany's welfare system is horrible. Look at how much taxes they have to pay and look how little they get back and blah, blah, blah. Like, see, in America, you get to keep most of your paycheck and we treat you right. And and the little money that you spend on healthcare really goes to, to taking care of you and blah, blah, blah. But in reality, we're getting like 
completely shafted because when a lot of these people have to pay their hospital bills with the health insurance that they paid for, they still have these co-pays that are ridiculous. Like if their hospital bill is $100,000, their insurance probably covers up to $5,000 of that. And they're left paying $95,000 of the hospital bill that they were given. And it's ridiculous. You know what I mean? So, um, I completely agree. You know, I think America has always been like this pulling the wool the, the the wool over people's eyes and shit like that like hey um and it's and, it, and the people who fall victim to being gullible to things like this like this guy was saying in the comments um are people who have never left their own country if you've never traveled outside of the u.s and you've never seen um and let alone outside of the the, the town you grew up in if you've never left your town you've never left your country then you will almost guarantee there's a 70% chance you'll believe anything the media tells you. Anything. Especially if it has to do with what's going on outside of your country. For a while, um, when I was really, really young, I'm still pretty young right now, but when I was really, really, really young as a kid, you know, I never in a million years thought that I would want to travel outside of the US because I'm like, oh, there's just so much bad stuff ha happening outside of the US. Why would I bother leaving? But then I realized all of that information I was getting were from American media companies, Fox News, for instance, um, CNN even to some degree, but CNN's a lot more chilled, you know what I mean? Um, Anyways, you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. I thought this was an interesting video. I wanted to uh, do another segment because I know you guys like topics like this. I'm very interested in topics like this myself, so I can talk about this all day. But there are a few other videos I want to make. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know what you think and what other videos I should talk about or in regards to the societal um, or economical uh, you know, things going on in Germany. And as it pertains to either the U.S. or the rest of the world, I'm very interested. Um, that's pretty much it. Well, 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 what a pleasure it is to see all of your beautiful faces at the end of this lovely video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm sure you know, as I've mentioned in the past, we do have a Discord that's linked in the description down below. And we would love to have you a part of the world's greatest community ever. Bray Gang. Yes, if you've made it to this point in the video, you're officially a part of the community. So go ahead, join the Discord server. Link is in the description down below. And we also have other social media as well, like Instagram, Twitter, we're live. We, we go live on Twitch quite, quite often as well. So I, it would behoove you to, you know, go ahead and subscribe to the Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash James Bragging. Join the cause and be a part of the greatest, literally the greatest community ever. Okay, it's simple. Just go ahead and do those little things. We're trying to grow on all these little platforms and everything, and it really means a lot. Now, I know you guys stumbled up across the channel, and you're like, what does this guy post? Like, what kind of content does he post? Reactions, vlogs, pretty much whatever comes to my mind. All right, it's random content. I don't know what I'm gonna be posting 10 years from now, but I do know that you can stick along for the journey, and it really means a lot. Now, for every single person that subscribes and follows, all of the accounts that I have made and the, all the links will be in the description down below. That's an automatic entry for any future giveaways I decide to have. I'll remind you when the giveaways take place, but you'll be surprised what I will be giving away because you guys have supported me so much up to this point and it's only right that I do the same thing back. Thank you guys so much for being amazing and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.